Hello there, guys, gals. The Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, we are getting it all in Tech Glitch. Now, this was developed and published by Daniel Yanak. It was originally released in 2020 for a price of £4.19. Um, but for some reason, there's been a bit of a tech glitch in the system. And at the time of this recording, is currently free. Yes, free. Freer than a free. Freer than America. Even though America is pretty much not free. But anyway, that's that's all for another bit of banter a little later on the, down the line. Now, this is a um, top, you know, like the very, uh, it's a top down uh, action type game. Very much like Mega Bomberman, the old school style couch multiplayer things. And this is genuinely an easy uh, completion as well. And again, because it's free, that's why I'm doing the random guide for it right now. But basically, we're going to need, you're going to need a second controller um, just to make things a lot easier because we're going to need to do things like um, we need to shock any player 60 times, break 300 boxes, win 100 games, use a teleport 500 times, destroy 1,000 robots, collect 2,000 bolts. So, yeah, the game's very easy. We can get this done in around two to three hours, but um, there is a bit of grinding with those specific achievements. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it as is the usual. So if you have this second controller there, go ahead and sign in. And then the first mode selection we're going to select is the classic selection. Uh, there's a couple of, we're basically going to play a couple of different uh, game modes in order to get the different, uh, certain different achievements. Uh, but for, first we're going to go to um, classic and then maze. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our two players. They are literally just robots, as you can see there. But we're going to get a first achievement basically by punching each other in the head. So your main character will always be blue. Your second controller should be red. So go ahead and meet up in the middle somewhere. Get them basically facing head on. And then make sure to press the X button on both controllers together. And that should knock you the hell out, bruz. And there we go. That'll be your first achievement done. Vice versa for uh, basically smashing your own head in the old nuggets. Uh, so what we're going to do, as you can see on screen, there are a bunch of bolts that you can collect. There's two achievements. Um, this is why you've stuck it down for a minute, first of all. So there's two achievements. One for not collecting any bolts in a match. That's what we're doing here. And um, for collecting all of the bolts in a match. Now, every time you come into this classic maze mode, there's always 30 bolts. Um, so obviously for now, we're just going to let the timer run out, get no bolts, and then jump back into it. Uh, now, like I said, it's completely up to you. After we get these uh, couple of achievements out of the way here, um, it's completely up to you whether you want to carry on with the grind of, again, like I said, winning 100 games, shocking any uh, any player 60 times, breaking 300 boxes, collecting 2,000 bolts, or you want to do that at the very end. Completely up to you. But for now, like I said, we're going to start again. Classic maze, and this time we're going to collect all the bolts. And again, I highly advise... That every time a one of these boxes drops, the, the power-up boxes, just go and collect it. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, again, we need to destroy or collect, well, basically destroy 300 of these. So, obviously, you know it's going to take just a little bit of time. Uh, so, if you go past one, just go ahead and smash it. Um, there is another achievement, um, basically, like I said, for shocking players 60 times. So the box you need basically has a lightning, or has the flash, not the Ezra Miller flash, because that guy's bad news. Um, but basically, there is a power-up box with a flash on it. So once you pick it up, you will then press the B button in order to use your shock. And we're going to use that on your opponent 60 times. There is also an achievement for... Yeah, let me just get this right. Um, killing... An enemy who is using a shock, um, which there is an easy way to do that. So we'll do that in just a minute. So again, head back into classic maze mode. Again, just go ahead, um, go around getting all of the bolts. And if you can, smash out your robot second controller opponent a couple of times. Remember, we need a thousand, uh, basically to kill these a thousand times. So what we need to do then, as the second controller, you, uh, so as the second controller, if the shock one comes down, just go ahead and grab that. Um, don't use it just yet, of course. So what we're waiting for now is the invincibility. Now, the power-up box for invincibility is basically the one with a down arrow on it. 
So what you're gonna so obviously when it 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 does happen eventually here. So what you'll do is um, with your main controller hit the invincibility box, quickly go up to the um, red guy or your second controller. Press the B button on your second controller. Here we go. So get that one going. Press the B button now on your second controller, and then the X button on your first controller, and then that is the easiest way that I found to do that. You can get it with specific timing as well, but that's just a pain in the old behind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pain in the ass. That's what I'm trying to get at right there. Uh, but for now, so we've sort of done the achievements of what we can do. So if you take a look, as I said, you can just go ahead uh, again. Again, if you wanted to do the grinding now or after the game, um, after we finish the game or whatever, it's completely up to you. But remember, what you need to do is go around collecting all bolts. You need 2,000 of these to break 300 power-up boxes, shocking uh, your uh, shocking the other player 60 times, winning 100 games in any game mode, and for destroying a thousand robots. But that uh, destroying a thousand robots, you will definitely get as your very final achievement. But again, completely up to you, whatever you want to do, if you just want to carry on the grind for now. Um, I ended up not doing that because I'm going to show you all the other good, yummy, delicious stuff. Well, sort of. Hey, it's easy. What do you want? What do you want from me, man? So the next one we're going to go in for then is Tag. And we are going to go into Maze again. So not classic this time. We're going to go into Tag mode. So what we're going to do is look, obviously, go down to your other player. Again, you can go ahead and break some of these boxes if you want. But all you're going to do is make uh, make sure that your characters are facing each other and then just keep spamming the X button back and forth. Now, this is probably where it's better to get two minutes or maybe four minutes on the timer. Um, so for this one, you need to tag someone. I think it's about 200 times. Yes. So 200 times. Now, doing this under a minute, it took me four. Uh, so it was about, I got about 60 to so 61. So yeah, about three and a half games this took me um, doing it with just a minute. I got about 65, 64, 65 tags each time. Um, so yeah, if you just want to pop the timer on for four minutes or whatever, completely up to you. And then just keep tagging each other. Keep spamming the X button until the tag prodigy achievement unlocks. Now this one shouldn't take you that long. Again, maybe four, five minutes or so. And here we are. I win! And yeah, just go ahead and do it again. Um, now, obviously, I would have edited it down ever so slightly. So, again, d depends if you, if you have put the timer on to four minutes and the achievement has unlocked. This is my uh, fourth game. Obviously, what you can do then is just go around and continue on to break boxes. And every time you get a shock... Go and shock the other player just to get some progress towards shocking 60 players. Uh, which is yourself. Shock yourself by looking in a mirror naked. Ah, I look so damn good. That's what you should be saying. Um, anyway, so yeah, whatever time you've set it on, just go ahead, break a lot of boxes, shock some bras until the game ends. <laughs> So, next up, what we're going to do is head back to classic mode. C -c -c classic. And this time we're going to go to the level called teleports. Now, you have to teleport 500 times. Now, what I ended up doing, uh, this time I put the timer down. Also, a bunch of boxes will drop behind you. So, as you can see then, with the blue one, you can just keep going back and forth. Now... What I advise, now I ended up basically, what, what I ended up doing was quickly going left and right on the stick. And as you could see, it was kept, it, it did keep going back and forth, back and forth. But I don't think it was actually counting. So I think you actually need to move away from the teleporter, go back into the teleporter. And that is what will actually count. So I thought I got about two to three hundred. Um, and as it turns out, I only got eight percent, which is like, yeah, nothing. 
So, uh, yeah, so that's probably the better way to do that one. But as I said, also break some boxes as well in that level. And again, that's one of those you can either leave till last or you can just carry on now and get that one out of the way. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do now is go back into classics and this time we're going to go on to islands. Oh yeah, my uh, game decided to be a little button snatch, as it were. Um, so we go to islands, and then all you're going to do is keep pressing up on the D-pad to continue falling off, and you need to fall off 30 times in order to get the to infinity and beyond repair achievement. Eh? You let my buzz light you? <laughs> Hire me someone for voice acting, please! Yay, anyway. That's my desperate attempt to uh, be a voice actor in a video game over with. I'll do that in the next video. Uh, but yes, so if you've done it on two minutes like I did, you should have just enough time there to get your 30 falling deaths. So that will be that one done. Now, in terms of the main game, that is pretty much it. The rest, all you've got to do then is basically prog um, just progress. So what we're going to do now is do the little bit of DLC, that, or the title update that came with it, the single player puzzle mode. So first what we're going to do is press the Y button to go into creator mode. Um, and it, like I say, you can just add a couple of blocks and then if you press the right bumper until you see a fiery block, you can add that and then that, and then you can press play and that will unlock the creator achievement. Imagination, imagination, imagination. Anyway, here we go with the first puzzle. Now, this time, like I said, it's the X button, uh, obviously, to move the ice blocks. So the main premise of the game is to move the ice blocks. This is obviously the puzzly puzzle and put them to the fire where we'll get rid of the fire. Now... The, the majority are quite easy, it's only really level 7, 8, and 9, which can cause maybe a few problems if you're doing it by yourself. But generally, there's no reason for me to be speaking this time, just uh, follow what I do on the video. And you should get this done within sort of 10 to 12 minutes or so. Good luck, comrades! Wait, wait, I... Never mind, no, no, just uh, ignore that last bit, that was uh, pretty disrespectful, right? I'm sorry.
So hopefully you got through that without too much, um, uh, too many problems, and hopefully the the guide for the puzzlings just helped there. So there we go. That'll be the thank you. Truly a smart person. Yeah, you know it. So like I said, all you should probably have left now is whatever you've got left in terms of the um, all of these win a hundred game modes. Blah blah blah. Depending on how you've done it, the, uh, those are all you should have left. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, like, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout-out, as always, to all my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members, and for everyone who uh, messaged me on Xbox as well. I do read them, um, but I do get a lot of messages, so apologies if I don't reply. And I will see you in the next one anyway, guys and gals. Big love.